Hammers finished last year 4-15, and fourth in the Northwest Jersey Athletic Conference Liberty Division, but captured two medals at Girls States. For head coach Dave Hewen, this year's team is a great mix of upperclassmen and quality freshmen, and he thinks they're going to surprise some people on the mat with their skills. Yeah, we're just really excited uh, about the team this year. We got our numbers are at uh, the highest it's been in a long time. We've got 39 kids in the room uh, that are working hard, being aggressive, working on the little things. Uh, we've been doing a lot of running, a lot of lifting, and just trying to you know, use our athleticism and, uh, and catch up on that wrestling part to make us tough. Junior Arthur Landcroft is excited for the season. He thinks the numbers in the room are going to help the squad succeed. I'm actually really excited this year about the team because we have a lot of new guys coming in, but a lot of athletic guys, which... It was really good for the team, and me, Julia, and Samira are really trying to get everybody as involved with each other and teach them all the basics, but at the same time, the newer guys, uh, like, teach them just in general. On the girls' side, the team has a pair of returning state medalists in Samira Koopa and Julia Fangaro. For Fangaro, a junior, she's really excited about the growth of women's wrestling since she's been at the school. Yeah, I think it's really amazing. Like, I remember my parents... The rule was they weren't going to let me wrestle unless it was a sanctioned um, sport in New Jersey. So once it was, I was really excited. And now to see the growth that it's gone through for the past uh, like four or five years, it's been amazing to see. Another wrestler to keep an eye out for the Bombers this year is Samira's younger brother, Issa. He posted a really good freshman campaign, and I expect him to build off that this coming season. This is still a rebuilding Bombers team. They have some quality wrestlers, but not enough to be super competitive in the area. I still think they're going to win their fair share of matches and improve on last year's record, but it's going to be tough sledding in their conference. I look for them to finish below 500 and 5th in the Northwest Jersey Athletic Conference Liberty Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower, reporting.